Are, are, you, are you surprised Calvin Austin's still on the board? I kind of am. Him and Khalil Shakir are the, are the two that are surprising me right now. What would make someone like Shakir, for example, fall? Because he, I, I, Calvin Austin's small, and so we understand that. But Shakir, is, he's six foot. He's over 190. Like, this is, this is a little weird for him. Ran well. Uh, versatile guy. Great character. <laughs> I don't know. You know, the NFL, they just... Sometimes guys like this fall, and then that that would be a oh, sleeper pick, or right. oh, we got a steal. All right, when I don't know if it's a steal if everyone in the NFL agrees that he should go at this <laughs> pick, but he is someone that I think can come in and contribute in multiple ways on offense. He does have very, very, very short arms, so I think people are going he's slot only, and maybe that that flavor is not for everyone. But he was also a dynamic punt returner, so it's yeah. kind of a weird situation here for for someone like that. Weapons, you're, you're not expecting to come in and get. Uh, an all pro at this spot, but but you want someone who can help in the return game. The, those are both guys who can do that, Austin and, and Shakir. So this is, and, and Bo Melton, it was another name that, that Nate Dickinson gave us. These are the types of guys we expect to see on day three. It's special teams. It's can you be a returner in addition to can you maybe give us, like, offense is a bonus at this point. Yeah, I, I don't understand this. Everybody's talking about these arm lengths and all these, you <laughs> I know. Never understood I, the I, arm this is either. ridiculous <laughs> to me. I mean, you go back to Jerry. Jerry, Jerry Rice, one of the best, is the, arguably the best receiver to ever play the game. He caught a lot of chess ball. I'll argue with anyone that says Jerry Rice yeah, is not the best receiver yeah, ever. You know Come like, on now. Yeah, so I mean, but he caught a lot with his chest too. You know, it's like there's a lot of guys out here chester in it. And, and, and it's like, I don't know. It's What's overrated. What's Jamar Chase's arm length? I don't think that his arms were long. No, no create they separation. If anything, you should be talking about how much separation can these guys create at the, at the uh, top of their route. You hear either top end speed, oh, these guys are fast. Okay, cool, you, you can run by somebody, but most of the time these guys are playing off coverage now, so your chances of you just blowing by somebody is going to be kind of you know, slim Small, to none, yeah. unless, it's, unless it's Tyreek Hill or somebody like that. Okay, so now you start looking at what do they do well at the top of the route? Do they create separation? That should be the conversation, not how long somebody's dog on arms is, because if I create separation from Croc, I, all I need is a half yard. Give me a half yard. Now we're not worrying about how long my arms are. And it's crazy because if you are a cornerback and you are shorter and you give up a catch at the at the uh, high point, yeah. they're going to say, oh, it's because he has short arms. But if it happens to a 6'3 corner, which it happens all, all the, the time, time, every game, nobody references the arm length there. Yeah, it's it's. it's there, no. I don't there, think anyone's there, talking about Isaiah's arm length either because it's not about how long <laughs> they are. It's about how wide right. around they are. You know, there is, like, if you go to analytics, there has to be something there because if you look at guys who have worked out and haven't, there's, like, something where there is a threshold with arm length at quarterback. I don't understand it. I don't. As someone who played the quarterback position, I always tell guys, you play more with your feet than you do with your hands at the line of scrimmage. So, yeah, that, it is something I, I truly have never understood. Listen, when I, had, when I was in New England, two of the best slot receivers I've ever played with, Wes Welker uh, and, uh, and uh, Julian Edelman. Nobody talked about their dog on arm now. Okay, <laughs> everything was about routes. Everything was about you know how cerebral they were and, and how they can get in and out of their dog on breaks. Arm length is a, is a dumb discussion in my opinion. I think the only time it re- makes some sense, I'd say in the trenches, yeah, the defensive the tackles, yeah, defensive yeah, linemen, yeah, 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 then yeah. guys get their hands on you into your chest. Yeah. From there, I get it, but on the outside, yeah, I no, don't know. Not so much. Get up and catch the ball. Yeah, it, it is one of those things. That it, I have heard different numbers. But 30 inches was the number that, that I had heard at receiver. Anything less than that, you're playing in the slot. Just because it's about a bit, your ability to get off press coverage, which teams are playing less of. So maybe these things change over time. But pre- with the but receiver, pre- you're pre- not getting off press with yeah, your hands. with your hands, like, exactly. You're not, you're not going, all right, let me get off, oh, yeah. and then stab and, and release. Like, you know, that's you, that's what I did. Just, you want to swipe here. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it might help you to have shorter arms so you can be more compact, get those hands off right now and get skinny and get into your route. It's it's really a silly conversation when it comes to receivers. It really is. And I, I, as you mentioned, if you go on social media, everything's all about releases and footwork now anyway, right? Yeah. So, I mean, it's all about that first step off the line of scrimmage. Make sure that, that that person doesn't get their hands on you, all right? Not so much about getting their hands off of you. Make sure they never get their hands on you, and you don't have to worry about your dog on arm length. You know, to your point, in the trenches, yes, it matters because now you're trying to keep <laughs> large human beings away from you, right? Or you're trying to bring large human beings into you. But when you talk about the receiver position, just get open and catch a dog on ball. Go get some yak yardage. Watch Alec Pierce. Anytime you see him get off the ball in the line of scrimmage, it's not, it's not because he's using his hands here. Feet. He's using his hands. He has the whole uh, Mr. Miyagi mm. wipe on, wipe off. <laughs> yeah. And he does a great job of that. Corners, really tough for them to get their hands on him. So we have the Broncos make their second pick. It is 